Welcome back. I'm your host, Denny Van. Whether you're listening to the podcast or watching on YouTube, we have an awesome guest today. We're speaking with Jaina Osta. Welcome, darling. How are you? Thank you. I love your energy and uh, I'm great. Yes. Thank you for having me today. So thank you for listening to our podcast and being a guest because you know we're all about connecting mind, body, and spirit. And I think we come together because we're both hypnotists and we both teach energy, yoga, mind, body connection. So um, I, I love what you talked about here about the topics you're talking about, about rewiring the subconscious mind and past programming. Oh my God, that is like the juice of what I love to talk about and that you use hypnotherapy and hypnosis and meditation as tools for growth. And I wanna talk more about how you do that. And then the kundalini or spirituality yoga and how that works as a path to living our potential. I love that. So darling, welcome, welcome. You talk about throughout the last 10 years of working in corporate. So how did you go from working in corporate to the work that you do now? Oh, what a question. I think, you know, working in corporate for me took me on a very deep journey of stepping back to ask myself a lot of questions because I always felt unhappy. And I just want to make it clear that it has nothing to do with corporate. It was me, right? I know a lot of people who work in corporate and it could be a beautiful space for growth and self-development. But for some reason, my journey led me to a lot of anxiety, a lot of of stress and burnout to a point where I kind of felt hopeless and I use this word where I felt a lot of stuckness where you know I didn't know what to do I didn't know what my next step should be felt like I didn't belong no matter what I tried to do I felt unhappy I remember crying a lot I remember feeling like I didn't belong and basically that led me to asking a lot of questions and the more questions I would ask the more I would simply uh, get exposed to different modalities that would allow me to take a fresh breath and realize that there's more, there's more, there's more within, there's more outside. And uh, it took me um, firstly on a step, on a journey of spiritual um, yoga journey. And I went on a beautiful Kundalini journey. That was my initiation in terms of my transformation. I was exposed to the path of yoga, which was for me a very spiritual path because I know a lot of people might see yoga as a more physical practice, but it is a very spiritual practice, especially if you tap into that. And I went on a very deep spiritual journey, um, more self-exploration and healing and uh, practicing different modalities, breathwork and meditation. And the more I did all of these things, the more I got driven towards exciting things that actually fueled me. I got into coaching, eventually into mindset work, hypnotherapy, left the corporate world, started my own business. And yeah, basically, I just listened. I listened to what didn't feel right. I listened to what felt right. And I kept trusting and somehow shifted careers along the way. <laughs> I love that because... I worked in corporate too. I still do, but on a contractual basis. So there's a beginning and then there's an end. So I can look forward to that end when working in corporate, right? So I loved what you said when you said you were feeling helpless and this stuckness and you didn't know, yet you followed what felt right and you listened. And it's interesting you said about yoga, you know, going into it as a spiritual practice. I started yoga for the physical and then it became a spiritual yeah. practice. And that was just a beautiful um, part of the journey. So tell me more about how you listened. How I listened, it's I trusted that something was not right. I think many people you know, they feel stressed and anxiety, all of these emotions but they just kind of uh, surrender that this is how life is. 
but I did not accept that. And I think no one should <laughs> that, you know, if, if something is, was too stressful for me, there was a lot of those emotions where it felt like this can't be right. I started to listen more closely as in, okay, why doesn't it feel right? What can I do about it? Uh, what are my options? Um, where can I get help? So when I say that, I'm just showing that I ask questions. And when I ask questions, I listen to the answers. And the answers might not be a direct answer, but the answer to me was, oh, uh, a friend who would tell me, come join, uh, join us this weekend. We're going on a beautiful hike and then we're going to do a meditation. I would say, mm, okay, let me go to that. That feels good. So I started to listen to my body. Where did it feel good? Where it didn't feel good? What was serving my body? What wasn't? What was serving my emotions? What wasn't? And I started to notice those patterns. And when I say, listen, it's like, I'm not ignoring what doesn't feel right and pushing it away. No, I'm listening to it and I'm opening space for what feels right to guide me. I hope it makes sense because I know it could be a bit like, what do you mean? <laughs> because it is subtle. It is a subtle, uh, subtle work, trusting the signs and the messages and listening to your environment and your body and your emotions. Yes. And sometimes the 3D world will not show you. So you do have to go inside. Yes. But trusting, you're absolutely right. I mean, as hypnotists, we know there are various states that of consciousness that we can go into. And to me, trust is in that state of, of faith that even though our world is showing us the opposite, right, of what we want, but we can go inside and trust and listen. That's important. We don't listen. We react, right? Mm -hmm. Reacting in, and then building that feeling of hopelessness and feel stuck in that reactionary pattern. I love that you use that word pattern. And once you recognize the pattern within yourself, you start to see it in everything. And then when you're listening, I love that you said you asked questions. Why? Why or how? How? What are my options? Where can I get help? And then this starts to open up space for a friend to say, oh, by the way, we're doing this. It's like, oh my gosh, magnet. <laughs> I'm going this way. Here we go. And to ask, you know, that doesn't make sense or hope that makes sense. Heck yeah, that makes sense because the mind might not make sense of it, but we've all experienced it. Right. right. This is an experience of transformation. I love that. So um, you support people now who go to in order to step into their true potential. Tell us what that looks like. So if we talk a bit about the subconscious mind, you know, a lot of how we're living our life, you know, research is showing that up to 95 percent of our behavior is based on subconscious patterns, behaviors, beliefs that we probably learned growing up as children from our society, our culture, our environment. And so, so often many people, including me, including all of us, we end up living our life almost as victims to our past or the beliefs that we've learned as in this is what you need to believe in. And sometimes those beliefs are good, but sometimes they are limiting. Sometimes they include fear, imposter syndrome, doubt, uh, shame, self-judgment, and it stops us from actually um, living our truth, saying, but I really want to do this, and I can, but there's this mind that keeps telling me, oh, but what if they judge? Or um, I really feel like um, I want to launch my own business, but there's all of these fears that come up, and so I'm not able to step into my potential. So, so often people take that as, again, they surrender to that voice and they live as victims to it. Whereas in reality, that voice is just their subconscious mind protecting them, keeping them in the past and what's familiar. And our role is to reprogram or release those false programs because they've been given to us, again, based on different circumstances that might not be in favor uh, of our true potential. And our role is to, again, listen and notice those programs and reprogram them into the truth, which is that we are limitless and we have the potential to do anything that we dream of. I 100% believe in that. And we can attract all of these magnets you're talking about into our life. But we need to do the self-work. 
And that's that's where I help people, especially when they feel that deep yeah. block. Yes, I love that because, you know, the mind, we're telling each other, you know, we're unlimited beings, right? And you can totally see the mind going, yeah, but. But. Yeah, exactly. but. Yeah, yeah but it's not happening. It never happened. It never will. You're delusional. You know, all of this mind stuff. That's the work becoming aware of when it starts coming right. so that you can reprogram it so that you can get back on track in the goal that you want to achieve. And we are, we spread our focus and attention and awareness so thinly. I mean, it's here, it's on Facebook, it's over here, it's over there, it's over there. And then we forget what it is we're here to do. So I love that you support people and you combine energy and mindset work to uplift people's lives and help them to release their limiting blocks that are in the way of their expansion. Can you tell us what that looks like? Well, it's a lot of what you're saying, you know, which is it all starts with awareness. It all starts with awareness because awareness is that first step to me saying, okay, I have a blog. Let's say I'm going to give an example. I have, I'm going to say launching someone wanting to launch their own business or to step out of their comfort zone, but feeling a lot of fear. And that first step is really helping in saying, yes, I am feeling fear. I'm aware of this fear. I know how it's stopping me and I know what it's limiting me from achieving. And then it is trying to untap where is this fear coming from? Okay. And that's really important uh, because so often um, that is an opportunity to learn and to grow. And that fear is there for a reason. And by guiding people to understand where is this fear really coming from? What is it trying to tell you? Is it something that happened in your childhood where someone told you, hey, you will never achieve anything. Don't believe in yourself. You're not worthy. And now you took it as a program and you're using it as an adult to limit yourself from stepping in outside your comfort zone. So understanding the root cause of the fear. So it's a, a lot of, in a way, therapy work. It's a bit of um, coaching and therapy to understand the root cause of where is this challenge, this stress, this fear, this doubt coming from. And then when we understand where it's coming from, accepting it and changing our uh, story rather than being again a victim to that old story oh my mother did not love me I was not loved which means I'm not worthy of love now changing the story so from awareness we are able to gain a deeper understanding and with that deeper understanding you're no longer a victim to that old story you become the master where you can say hey this story happened to me, but I have the power today to change the story and to see it differently. And it's all about perception. And I could change, you know, how I perceive it, how I am impacted by it. And suddenly that old story becomes an empowering story. And that fear becomes love. And that stress becomes a positive energy that's taking me forward. So it is when I say it's a lot of energy work because, you know, we're really dealing with trusting what's coming up in the moment, trusting how the body is reacting to certain things, the emotions that come up and using hypnotherapy as a tool, we can speak the subconscious language because now what we're talking, it's very conscious language and you can sit there and tell someone, hey, you can do it. Just go for it. You have the courage. But that's only 5%. There's 95% what you were saying, you know, is going to tell you, but, and in hypnosis, in that hypnotic state, which is a very beautiful trance-like state, the mind is more open and accepts to say, let's have a conversation. And through that, you can have a conversation with the subconscious mind to say, you know what, your mother did not know best. She tried her best. Um, she did love you. She might said word that hurt you, but they're not the truth. The truth is that you are loved. You are loved. You are worthy and you can achieve anything you put your mind to. And now you bring the subconscious mind on board and you wake up uh, to live your life consciously with that awareness. I know it could be a lot to share all of this. So please tell me if you'd like me to go further in any of these areas, but it's really awareness changing our story and showing up as masters 
of our life and not as victims to old stories. That's the work. <laughs> I love that because you start with awareness and we are all about awareness training because we're in autopilot all the time and, you know, in acceptance, you know, where is this coming from? It starts with awareness. And that is, uh, I loved what you said about changing the story because when we consciously make those changes in the story, that's reprogramming. Exactly. That's reprogramming. You're reprogramming how you're reacting to whatever is coming up that's triggered from the 3D reality. So these, these, these triggers coming up are from other realities, right? The inner worlds and awareness. And, you know, we're hypnotized all day. We are put in or naturally go into the state of hypnosis all day long and why not do this consciously instead of unconsciously being hypnotized from what we're watching on tv seeing on social media reading whatever it is we're feeding our awareness we're being programmed yes. so then we become more and more aware of what we're being programmed with because now we can choose right this is fantastic and i was just reading more and um earlier in your uh bio that you sent um you changed careers you launched your own business this is the fun part I want to hear more about oh, bungee gosh. jumped <laughs> bungee jumped the highest bridge in the world oh my god okay so I'm gonna need to see you for the fear first <laughs> before I go do something like that but I want to hear about that hike the highest mountain in Africa that sounds just divine <laughs> and plans to keep seeking new heights. I'm in for the ride. So tell yeah. me about, you know, you launched, tell me about this bungee jumping. You know, I, I know I have such a crave for adrenaline rush and those intense experiences. And the reason why I have a crave for those is I just love being so in the moment. Really, it's it just feels amazing to, for a few hours, to just be so immersed in a moment because when you're about to bungee jump I forgot how high it was uh, it's in South Africa by the way uh, you can look it up I don't remember the height but it's high like really 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 just look up yeah look up the highest bridge in the world it's in Africa that's it's what a, she jumped yeah it's just insane the, the highest bungee jump bridge basically and um yes when you're standing there you can't be thinking about your problems. You can't be thinking about what's what's for dinner, what's happening tomorrow, about your past. No, you're just right there, 100% in the moment. And I find that to be so empowering. And honestly, that's why I love like being in those intense moments. And again, surrendering. So what I love about bungee jumping, and I've done two bungee jumps, is that it's no one's pushing you. You actually have to stand there, find something reasonable enough to tell you it's okay to jump. You know what I mean? It's like you're defying. <laughs> you're defying. You're, you're really playing that mind game where your mind is like, no, no like person who is insane would just say jump but in that moment you have to say hey you're safe you're protected there's no way like the chances of something going wrong is mm, less than one percent probably so just do it and just taking that leap of faith and jumping so empowering it's just euphoria it's a euphoric experience and honestly those experiences they last not in the moment they last for days and weeks and months and they're very empowering on a on a physical mental spiritual level and that's why I love them and I, I have done also a skydive I I also love hiking and we did the Kilimanjaro hike in Africa and that also a lot of you learn a lot of resilience you learn a lot of, about yourself about how to keep up how to keep pushing and all of this is mindset work and that's why I love those experiences <laughs> That is fan freaking tastic. I loved our conversation. I feel like we can talk forever. Oh, yeah. So tell us how, how can um, people who are interested in working with you, how can they contact you? 
Well, the best way to contact me is on Instagram. I know it's like, uh, who would have said that a few years ago, right? Contact me on Instagram, but um, my handle is at tune in with Jenna. If you follow me, the best way is to reach out there. I have tons of content. I love sharing all about this topic and I have a free mindset toolkit. You'll find the link in my bio or if you can share it, I'd be happy to kind of offer it. Um, it's an amazing toolkit, which is a bit of what we're talking here, writing your existing story, being aware of it and rewriting it. And in that toolkit, I also offer a hypnosis meditation that allows you to invite more positive intention for your day and all of these amazing tips and tools. Um, so yes, if you want to reach out, come to my Instagram yes. page, download that toolkit and stay in touch. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll leave your contact information for social media, yes. Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and your uh, Facebook community and website. So we'll leave that sure. in the description. Definitely. I want to thank you. Thank you so much. This is a phenomenal conversation. Thank, thank you. you. And keep continuing doing amazing work. And uh, yeah, let's stay in touch. That was so nice. It was so beautiful talking to you. Thank you for sharing the space and inviting me here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you. And for our reality programmers and listeners, do be sure to leave a comment. I want to know what you loved and I want to know what you would love more of. And in the meantime, keep being amazing. Oh, 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 o